Hi everyone and welcome to video one of our 90 day challenge. Now I can't make 90 videos for you but what I will do will try to cover as much of the material that you've told me that you want to learn. I've been overwhelmed in the past week and a half of emails and Facebook messages and YouTube postings saying can you teach us this, can you teach us that and I'm going to just do my best to please as many of you as possible. So one of the most common well, the most common request was, can you teach us some hornpipe patterns? So we're going to start with that. I have no idea how long this video is going to run, so I might turn into several videos to keep you going over the, the next uh, the week or so, the first week. So you'll see here that I have hornpipes in 2-4. They were actually most commonly seen in 2-4, or sorry, in 4-4, four, four, but I have them written here in 2-4 because I tend to see the, the tunes that I like the hornpipes I like in 2-4, just be aware you'll see them in 2-4 and 4-4. The only difference being, if I had this in 4-4 time, I would just eliminate this bar line in the middle and that would be one bar of 4-4. So, don't get too wrapped up in that, the beating is still going to be the same, whether it's 2-4 or 4-4 time signature. If none of that means anything to you, then don't worry about it, okay, if you're not into the theory part of it. So, the first pattern we're going to do today is, uh, it's kind of a nice combination of teaching you a new rhythm, but also for some of you that wanted some tonal change, we're going to weave some of that in as well. So what we're going to do over this first kind of big block of lessons on horn pipes is I'm going to teach you four phrases, four two-bar phrases, and then we'll build them up individually with the speed, then we'll piece them together in a tune for you. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's start with, I'll call this rhythm A, just to keep you straight. So when we piece it together, it's going to make a bit more sense. Okay, so you'll see below as well that I've written it in proper drum notation because the arrows are great up to a certain point. When we start to have to put dots and cuts in there, it starts to get a little bit confusing and it doesn't quite match up the same as when we're using it for just basic jigs and reels. It really, you know, it's very easy to follow. But when we get into using uh, dots and cuts, you might want to refer to the proper notation. So what I'll do on my website is I will post the two versions. I'll post the really dumbed down arrow version if that works better for you, but I'll also post the proper notation as well, just to keep you straight. So let's start with rhythm A, which is going to go down, flat, up, down, flat, up, down, flat, up, down, triple it. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is play the first beat here at six o'clock, or down around there. So I keep I noticed that when I teach this one slow, I was just kind of uh, thinking ahead of what I was going to teach you, and I noticed that at the slow speeds, I tend to move my hand around quite a bit, so I might go down, flat, up, down, flat, but at the faster speed, you don't necessarily always have time to be doing that. So what you can do, just to keep it really simple, is keep your hand in the back, just above the middle, okay, in the middle or just above the middle, and I'm just putting the heel of my hand on the skin with my fingers off. Then I'm going to play with my tipper down around at 6 o'clock. So you want a kind of a nice low, deep, bassy sound. So you want your drum in a kind of a nice, relaxed tension. Okay, so we're going to go down at 6 o'clock. And then when I play the flat, that next down beat, I'm going to tend to go out towards the 3 o'clock on my drum. 9 o'clock for left-handers. And I'm going to put my hand at the back, flat. Okay, so I'm going to go down, flat. Down, down. Try that. So it's going to go heel on, fingers on as well. So I'm just putting my hand flat. It just kind of gives that, that little slappy sound. You can play even right on your fingers if you choose to. Then you'll notice that we have a dot on that arrow. That means when you see a dot on music, it just means to hold that note longer. And when you have a little line like that, that's called a cut. And so you're just going to jump quickly off of this up onto the down. So it's like up, down. So it's like down, flat, up, down. Okay, so this is how it would look down below. You would hold that first beat longer, and this, this note kind of represents the down, and that dash would represent a rest, okay? So it's down, down, up, down. So this note, you'll see, is, is much smaller if you're familiar with note values. So if it's easier for you to look at the bottom line, by all means, I'll try not to block the, the music there with my drum. So it's gonna go down, Okay, I can't take the time right in this lesson to 
cover the triplets, but I've uh, two videos, I believe, in covering the triplets. So if you haven't done that yet, you can go back and watch the two videos on the triplets. Uh, and so when you get to there, if you can't get the triplet in, you can just stop and put a little rest and join us back in. So you can go down, flat, up, down, flat, up, down, flat, up, stop, again, down, flat, up, down, flat, up, down, flat, up, stop, again, and then leave the triplet out for now. Okay, so we're going to try this really slowly. And if you find that there's a way of saying this that really works for you, I would suggest doing that. So I like to say down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, top, up. Okay, so down, top, up is just triple it. Try to do that nice and even, or you can say one. as if we were in 4-4 four, four time. It's normally if it was in 2-4 you go 1 and a 2 and a 1 and a 2. Uh, but you might find that counting to 4 gives you a better heads up of when the triplet's coming in. You'll know that after you say 4 we're going to do the triplet. Now I've quickly just gone and changed the word down to flat because I think I actually say the word flat instead of down more. So hopefully you'll know when I say the word flat that we're doing a little downstroke with our hand at the back flattened off and kind of going up to the front of the drum. The closer you play to the bearing edge there where it's, it's tighter here than it is in the center. So you'll get a higher pitch there anyway. We'll try it really slowly at 50 beats per minute and if you find this too slow just fast forward through the video till it, you find the speed that is a bit challenging for you. But we'll try to get a bit of the hand uh, at the back going. If you find that too confusing at first just try to get the pattern. Okay? So here we go at 50. Down, flat, up, down. Flat up down, flat up down, go now, down, flat up down, flat up down, flat up down, triple it down, flat up down, flat up down, flat up down, triple it down, flat up down, flat up down, flat up down, triple it. That's it. And I'm just playing the triplet down at six o'clock with low tension. when you're saying it, it's that little one and a two. That a two is quite quick, okay? So every time, oh, also, every time we say one, two, three, or four, we're going to be on that nice low deep bassy down, and when we say and, we're going to be going flat with our hand and coming out to the front part of the drum. Ready? One and a two, go! One and a two, Now we'll try it at some faster speeds. <laughs> 